Right, uh, my name's Nina Fenner and I make books and teach bookbinding. Uh, so I do a variety of structures. This is um, a multi-section case-bound book and I've been demonstrating that this morning. So this is his one I made. This one I stitched together this morning. So that's all ready with its end papers. Uh, the blue is drying on that one. And here's a cover, again, that I actually made earlier. So that's going to be the cover for that book. Um, I also do all sorts of other things like concertina books, like these ones. And this one's very popular. So I call this a theatre book. It's also known as a star book. So it's like a concertina with little dioramas in it. Uh, and there's Coptic stitch, which is a different style again. The stitching on that is very pretty, a very ancient binding technique. Um, long stitch and there's all sorts. But anyway, uh, and then, so I start off with a pile of paper. This is actually card, so this I guess will do someone like a photo album. Uh, and then I have needles and threads, make holes in this. I don't know if you actually want me to get on and do some stitching, but I can uh, sew them together and then glue them together with PVA. So that's the basic outline, and I can start stitching if you like. Okay, so these are single sheets. I might put them into double sheets, actually. So I'm going to put two inside each other. I'm going to um, just use this template I happen to have lying around for my previous book. <laughs> and I'm going to use this homemade Hole making device, you can get fancy ones that you can buy, or well, lost some fancy one, but anyway, there they go, my assistant. <laughs> you can get fancy ones like this. And this is a sherry cork uh, with a needle put in it. So you get this inside the open pages. I've got a mat underneath so I don't stab your nice tables. And then we use this to make the holes, and the trick is to make sure that they're it's folded as you make the holes because if you make a hole with the paper open it might not come out on the spine there. So I'm going to make some holes along here. Let's try not to stab the table. And have I got a threaded needle? Yes. Here's a needle with some thread. And hopefully no knots in it. Yes, that's always a good start. <clears throat> and then we stitch, basically a running stitch in and out of these holes. Starting on the outside, leaving a little tail for a knot later. And that's the first section stitched. And then if we want to make it stronger, we can put tapes underneath here. There's some green ones that I happen to have lying about, which also means you'll be able to see the stitching better. So we tuck those under there. Make sure it's nice and tight. And make holes in the next section. Oops, there's the fold. There it is. Put these inside each other. This is some really old card that I got off someone. It's got, almost got a bit of foxing in it, but I think that adds a bit of character to it. <laughs> um, so I put the template inside, make the holes. put this one next to the first one, make some tape from the outside, a bit more central. I've got two needles here, that's a bit confusing. There we go. Oh, I've got a knot in it again, have I? No. It's a bit long to start with, so it all gets a bit tangled. It gets easier as you go along. And then we do the second section, so back in 
through that hole. I'll have to put my glasses on in a minute. <laughs> See the hole? There it is. Good lighting always helps, book binding. And here we go, knotting. <sighs> It'd be nice if the string didn't tie itself in knots. Out the next hole. Oops. It's a bit unwieldy this. Uh, I uh, advise starting on a size smaller book. Make sure we haven't got any spare loops. <coughs> now I'm going to do what's called a link stitch along here. So I'm just going to run the needle underneath that thread like that. Just as a simple link to the section next door. And then back in. And out. And another link stitch here. Oops. the end and we'll see why I left a little tail on the first one so we make sure <coughs> the threads are tight and there's no loops on the inside pull it tight along the length of the book because if you pull that way at right angles you can tear the paper and then we tie a knot good old-fashioned reef knot left over right right over left so I did that opposite and then we're ready to do the next one I don't know if you want this video to be a, a whole book, but um, that's kind of the pattern now. Um, make the holes. Is, it, is that enough probably? So we'll make the holes, we'll put that next, and then we'll run the stitching along, linking as we go, and keep going until we have a whole, all the paper stitched. And here's one I did earlier. That's been stitched and then glued along there. And I've Put some end papers on it as I said earlier and then that's ready to put into I haven't got a cover to demonstrate but that's two bits of card with some book cloth supporting it and then to finish it off I'll glue this surface and this surface and stick it all together and that will be a multi-section case bound book 